Okay, hi, so uh, yeah, welcome back to part two. Uh, if you've watched part one, um, my songs that I've liked while I'm riding the bike, then uh, yeah, this is part two. So Just watching him. I think he's watching the bird that I, at the beginning of the egret. So yeah, so uh, this is part two of my most played ten songs that I listen to. Um, I can put my glasses on. I've got my notes here. And I can't read, and I'm thinking, what have I written here? So here we go. So this one is a clean bandit, um, Cambridge band. Uh, they were a quartet, kind of electronic, uh, classical, cello, violin, piano, but a uh, great clean bandit. This one is Baby back in 2018. What is love? So it's got the Welsh singer Marina. Uh, Marina Diamantis, Welsh Greek. Um, I'm trying to think. Marina, yeah, Marina and the Diamonds was her band. Um, and then she's just caught known now as Marina. And Puerto Rican singer Louis Fonzi. Amazing voice, both of them. Clean Bandit, they kind of collaborate with different artists. So you probably think, oh, I know this song, but I don't know the band. You listen to another one. Ah, oh, I know this song, I don't know the band. So they, they collaborate with different artists. Um, and once you hear the song, oh, yeah, 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 I know this. So go and check out Baby. Um, there's so many. There's, there's great. You'll, once you hear this song, you think, oh, yeah, I recognize it. And then uh, you'll know a lot of the others as well but like I say you don't recognize them because it's not the same singer all the time and uh, they do collaborate with other people okay I'm going back a little bit now so this one is just mind my bag it don't fall off it's got a little bit windy now um, the Rolling Stones painted black great British artists um, back in 1966 on the aftermath album there it is, uh, painted black, like I say, lyrics about um, grief and loss, and you think like funerals and that kind of thing. Um, Rolling Stones with the song is a little bit of an Indian, Middle Eastern, Eastern European influence, if I think about that with the song. Um, you can hear the, the sitar in there, with the try to copy... The Beatles, maybe. Um, George Harrison. Um, who knows? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But it's just one of those things. Um, it was criticised, actually, for its experimental style. And they were like, is it is it going to be good for a commercialised? So it, they were doubt, very doubted if it was going to be great for commercial. Um, is it a great commercial song? It's just a great song. It's used quite often. Um, so yeah, go and check it out. That, there is a link below to that song as well. Okay. 1984. Hammer to Fall by Queen. Another great British band. Uh, different sleeves were used for this album. Um, There's just one of them. And there is a live picture sleeve, which is now a collector's item. Um, if you've got one of those, you're really lucky. 
So this one got to number 13 in the UK and number 3 in Africa, South Africa. So it's featured in the film, sorry, lots of birds going on, egret, herons, being chased, they're being, people are feeding them, there's a kingfisher going around, there's a, I can't see what that is, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so it features in the, the film The Highlander, uh, which Queen composed uh, many Queen composed a lot of tie-in songs so if you're watching Highlander then uh, you'll hear little snippets of Queen in the background so they've done a lot of that um, is it my favourite? it's one of my favourites there's, there's just so many I can mention with Queen it's just one of those bands that's like you really want to get your head banging if you're in a car Bohemian Rhapsody everyone is going to head bang to that so yeah this one there uh, so, uh, how can I introduce this band? But I'm going to introduce it to how I was introduced. So, I was... I was young. And we'd visited someone in hospital. A family member. And going back to the car, there was... This is how old it was. There was a cassette tape that someone had put together of on one side was the eagles and uh on the other side was this band called ELO the electronic light orchestra so the eagles was the greatest hits and then ELO was the other side and it was their out of the blue album and they kind of got me into it so whoever dropped that cassette tape uh I want to thank them. I want to thank them for introducing me to ELO. So when we were in the car, we always wanted to listen to ELO. It was just something bubbly. It started off, boom, 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 sun is shining. And that, that was great. The first track, and that boom, 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 flash. No, it wasn't. But uh, I want to talk about a different album. So I got a little bit off track. I want to talk about uh, time. 1981 album and the song is Hold On Tight um, considered one of the top 10 songs in most countries I know it's in my top 10 my top 10 for most songs I listen to um, I can't say it's the most top 10 song my favourite top 10 but these are the top 10 songs I listen to. And there's a French part in there. Uh, it's sung in French. At the repri the, so the reprise in French is actually verse one. So the first verse, it's in French. So the basically, the first verse is the same in French. So that's that. Um, it takes me back to my final song. Um, strange one um, never really knew much about this band until a few drinks with them over the period of about a year and it's like ah, I know your music but I don't know who you are this one 1991 the fifth album Enter Sandman so the end to Sandman is basically about if you think Sandman, sand in your eyes, you know, the little sleep that you get when you wake up, you've got this funny little stuff in your eyes. Sand, the Sandman drops it in there. So it's about nightmares, things that go bump in the night. Um, so that's basically what the album, or what that song is about. It's so, you know, it's, it goes, you'll see different key drops and everything else, the note change, and it's just, all the 10, the whole 10 that I've mentioned are, uh, let's say, my most 10 played songs when I go riding. Um, so this is the part again, like part one, what is your favourite song from the album that I've mentioned? Um, what's your favourite song from the group, the band, or the, the artist? Um, 
Freddie Mercury went solo. Um, so do you have a favourite solo song from Freddie Mercury? I always think of Barcelona, Monsignor Gabriel. Uh, there's, there's, there's so many. I can think, I, I can go on. I can make this video a lot longer than uh, just over 10 minutes, but I, I won't. So what's your favourite song from the, from the artist? What is your favourite song from the album? Uh, what is your favourite album and favourite song, favourite track from that? Where are you from? Um, do you agree with any of the songs? Do you think, oh no, there is a better out, there's a better track on that album? They've made a better album. Um, let me know. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you. Everyone's, you know, we've all got our different opinions, but these are my most listened to uh, tracks when I ride. And I think out of all of them, Metallica, Queen, are my most listened to. They're my top two. When it comes to summer, um, Ben Wood. Ben Wood uh, is a really happy one. It's, yeah, I do listen to him a lot in the summer. It's very happy, summery, feel-good track. So go and check that one out, someone instead. Um, like I say, he's got a couple more. I'm not going to, yep. Anyway, thanks for watching. You take care of yourselves. Until next time, ta-da, bye-bye.